Hello everybody and welcome back. This is Ty with another video for you. Um, what you're looking at here is a Sega Virtual Stick High Grade. Um, it's a arcade joystick for the PlayStation 3 and it has Sanwa parts in it which are top of the line parts, um, buttons and joysticks. Um, a friend of mine asked me to actually take this joystick and install what's called a PS360 in it. And a PS360 is a little USB device like right here and uh, it has all screw posts for every single connection on the joystick and you connect it to USB and once it's connected it will allow you to use the same joystick on a Xbox 360 a PS3 and a PC so this is uh, fairly simple to connect up the uh, only things that will be difficult would be is finding a place to put it inside the joystick which this is this is pretty good it shouldn't be a problem and then uh, just uh, getting into the little this is the original uh, circuitry for the whole joystick right here. Go over to the macro lens. Okay, this is the original. That doesn't work either. This is the original one, and uh, you'll see this. These two rainbow-colored uh, connectors here. That's for all the buttons. The one here. That's the uh, joystick controls, and that right there is for this little. Um, actually, this is the USB. This is a little daughter board here, which just has some additional uh, rubber buttons. That's just the. Uh, PS, the select, the L2, and R2 buttons. Um, this will be the most annoying part to do, and really, what I'll have to do is uh, just desolder this board and wire my own wires. Um, but the rest of it is just simple. You just all you gotta do is strip the wires and connect them up to the board. So this will be fairly easy to do. The other thing he asked me to do was to make it so it is a you can access this uh, this uh, joystick from the front. Um, originally, it had some carriage bolts. If you go, this is a carriage bolt. It's got a little notch on the inside there. So he wants it so that I, that he can actually take these off from the top. So I picked up these. One second, let me put this in here like this. So you see it's sitting in there. I've got these black Allen head screws. And these will fit in there quite nicely. I might get a slightly larger one. These look pretty good though. And uh, then all I have to do is get little T-nuts, put them on the back side, and they'll stick into the plastic, and they'll they'll grip instead. So that's all I have to do for that. That's a fairly simple thing. I think I need to pick up a couple more part, a couple different nuts. I was going to use just standard nuts, and um, but they won't really hold in place. After he takes it apart a few times, it'll come up, they'll come loose. So it's going to hot glue them, but I don't think that's a good idea. I'm going to just use T-nuts. If you know what a T-nut is, it's uh, actually I can show you a T-nut right here. This one's a large one. Let's see where is it? but essentially the same idea. The, the nut is on the bottom here. And you see it's got little spikes here that grip. Um, so I'm gonna pick up some smaller T-nuts that are metric if I can find them. Otherwise I'll use uh, standard um, ones. All right, everybody, uh, so I'll come back uh, shortly when I've got this thing uh, wired up. Okay, I've got this thing uh, connected up to a Windows XP computer right here. And you'll see I have the joystick properties up. Um, you get in closer just so you can see this, maybe. Maybe you can see it. You see each one of these is labeled. So you got, there's your uh, plus five volt, your up, down, left, right, ground, back, select, see turbo. So everything in here is labeled. And I have right now a wire connected to the ground. So what I'm gonna do is all I have to do just to test this thing out. Let's see here, can I get this in the shot? See this wire right here? I just gotta do is touch this to one of these terminals just to test to make sure it's working right. So, you'll see right here. I am going to press, how about we press up? You'll see the up highlights there. Now, let's press, Let's see this other one here. But AX. That's button one. See that light? I don't know if you guys can see that. See it lighting up? When I touch it. So that's so that's just a test to make sure that this joystick's working properly, which it is. And um, so now I just want to make sure it's working before I start wiring this thing in and cutting all the wires out of his uh, his perfectly good working joystick, it would really suck if I installed this and it didn't work. So that was just a little quick test to do, make sure everything's working okay. 
Okay, I'm going to just show you where I'm at right now. I've taken the uh, board for the select start buttons and I cut off, I desoldered the old connector and soldered on new wires here. Okay, and those are all ready to go. And additionally, this is the uh, ground wire harness. And uh, what I would normally do, like in a USA style arcade cabinet, there would be a daisy chained uh, ground wire harness where it's just one to the next. But these uh, Japanese sticks always have an individual ground wire for every single button, which is completely unnecessary because they all go to the same board, same part on the board. So they all come together in this one giant solder with a ground wire coming out. So this is all the ground wires for the buttons. And the uh, joystick's pretty simple here. That's just standard, just the wires that were there just cut off and I will just uh, put them right in. The next step I'm going to do here, I wanted to show this. I've got all the, uh, you see there's the Allen nuts in there. And as I said, uh, uh, John uh, wanted this to be uh, top uh, access, so I've got nuts in there. I wasn't. I'm deciding not to use the T nuts because I don't think I'll find a uh, metric ones. So I just got some Loctite epoxy here, and I'm going to apply that just to the outside of the nuts. I'm not going to put it on the thread um, because otherwise it would just lock the screw in place. But I'm going to take some and put it around each nut, and that should hold it pretty good. Um, if he really were to crank down on these nuts, though, he would break the epoxy. So um, let's hope he doesn't do that. But other than that, we should, uh, that's what the next step I'm going to do. Hey, everybody. Now, I've got this uh, joystick all done. Um, I'll show you the, uh, the way I made it so it can be screwed from the front now. So I've just got some Allen uh, screws right here. And I'll show you this all when it's all together. That's not lined up right now. Like that. Okay. See. So now they just screw right in like that. And uh, the way I did that was I was talking about using some T nuts, but I changed my mind and uh, I just epoxied nuts to the inside of the uh, case right here. The hardest one was this one in the center. Um, they'll hold up pretty good, I think. Um, I wouldn't crank down on them real hard, but it's just the, it's just to hold the top of the joystick down. So if you just put them down with normal tightness, it should be perfectly fine. Here's the inside. I've got all the wires now wired into the PS360 right there. And uh, the USB cable as well. I just need to uh, reassemble this. I will show you when this is all together. Okay, everybody. Here it is all done. I uh, was able to hook this up to uh, my Xbox 360. It works perfectly fine. <clears throat> um, you can see here, the, here are the uh, Allen nuts in there. Let me switch my camera over. Got a nice black matching uh, bolts there, and uh, here I'll show you the, uh, the buttons. There's all the uh, face buttons. Here's the other buttons and uh, start button and the directions. So that's it joysticks together and now you can take it apart just from the front he doesn't have to take the whole bottom off to do it so it should be a lot easier for him to uh if he wants to change the configuration of the buttons swap new buttons uh change the joystick whatever it may be uh that's it um i will try to have another video for you guys soon thanks for watching